In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate calculation of solid-liquid equilibria using a figure from the textbook, figure 1412. This is a, this is a diagram for um, solubility of benzene and phenol, and uh, the right side of the diagram represents the solubility of phenol in a solution of phenol and benzene, and the left-hand side arm represents the solubility of benzene in a mixture of liquid benzene and phenol. You can see the experimental data shown with the symbols. The solid line is calculated with UNIFAC and is actually quite close to the experimental data. The dotted line is the calculations for the prediction of the ideal solution behavior, which you can see is um, displaced from the experimental data. So here we will use UNIFAC. Now, solid-liquid equilibria is calculated using um, equation 1424. And you can see I could work different types of problems with and solve different types of problems with this equation. So if I know a solubility, I could be asked to find the temperature. If I know a temperature, I could be asked to find the solubility. If I know the temperature and the composition, I could be asked to find the mole or the activity coefficient, and if I did so at various conditions, I could actually generate a fit of the activity coefficient. Um, I need at least one point to get one parameter, and with multiple points, I can fit multiple parameters. Now, I'm going to work um, a problem in this case where I calculate the solubility at a given temperature. To do that, both the um, x and the activity coefficient will be changing because the activity coefficient depends upon the x, but we can easily put that into a spreadsheet. I'm going to do the calculation by setting an objective function by rearranging it where the objective function should go to zero when I've reached the solubility limit. I've set up a spreadsheet to do this, and I've entered the structure for phenol and benzene. Be careful with phenol because it's got uh, five aromatic CHs and one aromatic COH. Be careful not to split it up um, using the aromatic carbon and an OH. Um, that's not the correct uh, group contributions for this molecule. And for benzene, I've got six aromatic CHs. I've turned off protection and I've added properties of phenol and benzene over here. I've got the heat of fusion and the melting temperature in Kelvin. And then I've programmed two objective functions, one objective function for each arm on the solid-liquid diagram. So objective function one uses properties for phenol, so this will be used to calculate solubility of phenol in liquid mixtures. And if you look back at the equation, I've got the activity, x gamma, the heat of fusion, uh, be careful with units because heats of fusion are typically large, so they're typically in kilojoules, but my gas constant is in joules. I, I also have to be careful converting temperature, and of course my melting temperature has already been uh, entered in Kelvin. Okay. And for the other objective function, I'm using properties for benzene. Right, let's do a calculation, and going back to the diagram, let's calculate the solubility of phenol at 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to set the temperature, right, and uh, looking back at the diagram, I expect the solubility to be around 70 mole percent, and if I didn't know that, I'd have to do some adjustment and trial. But let's, you know, you can see here, um, as I change the composition, my objective function will change. And so, I, you know, even if you don't know the solubility, you can do a little bit of guessing and see if you're in the right region before you use the solver tool. So now let's call up our solver. And I'm going to set the objective to zero by changing C21, which is the site, the mole fraction of phenol. Found a solution. Uh, a mole fraction 
0.78. Okay. And that's very close to the experimental data. Um, also notice that, remember, the ideal solubility was very close to the UNIFAC prediction at this temperature because you can see the activity coefficient is very close to 1. Let's do something where the solution is not quite so ideal. So if I go down to 0 degrees Celsius, you can see there's an offset between the UNIFAC prediction and ideal solution. So let's uh, solve that. And you can see that I should get something around 40 mole percent here for at 0 degrees Celsius. So, so I'm going to change the temperature. And I can look at the objective function, and I'm, I know it needs to be close to 0, so let's just try. Okay. And now let's use a solver. I uh, don't have to adjust anything. Same objective, same adjustment. Okay, and you can see I found an answer. My objective function is very small. The solubility is um, a mole fraction, 0.45. And now you can see the activity coefficients um, getting different from one. Let's do a calculation for solubility of benzene. So my solubility of benzene, now re remember I'm reading mole fractions of phenol. So at zero degrees C, um, you know, this is a, a little bit less than 20 uh, mole percent phenol, which means it's a little more than 80 mole percent uh, benzene. All right. So my objective function, remember, will use uh, benzene even though I'm adjusting phenol. Okay. So um, let me call up this. Well, let me change this to um, around 20 mole percent. Okay. And you can see that objective function now is close. Let's call up the solver and find it. I'm going to now adjust the objective function. I'm still going to change mole fraction of phenol. Okay. And there is the solubility of benzene. And uh, the mole fraction is 16 and a half mole percent. And that's pretty close.